it's now coming to pad the canvas. So all that fullness now I'm going to distribute between these stitches. So the first row that goes in, I'm going to use it to set my stitch length. So now when you come to stitch your second row, you're stitching between the other stitches. Every time the camera goes up there, my back tends to get a bit straighter. But that's what Taylor's posture. Try and sit up straight. Every tailor I know is at least head forward. Most are straight. But the younger ones tend to try to remain straight. I think honestly, I just think the older men have just given up. <laughs> Trying try at this stage. Accept the fact that they're this bent over, and that's it. I remember Paul seeing a photograph of himself in a magazine. It was a, a Japanese magazine. And he was, uh, <laughs> he sort of caught him from the side, and he was, he was putting, he was putting in the sleeve at the time, so he's, he's putting one of my sleeves. I was, as an apprentice, and he sort of bent over, and he's got, a, you know, it's all, it's all back there, like, and he sees the photograph. Is that my back? Is that what I look like? It's horrified. <laughs> I've seen a few myself on my own, and it's just like, oh no, is that what a side view really looks like. Because we wear a bespoken suit, we get to hide it. Or at least we think we do under good tailoring. I do think it works though, you know, like a well tailored coat. If you've got bad posture, it doesn't look as noticeable. So I turn my canvas around. I'm trying to break it on your knee. I'm sort of go by the, the center stitch around it. I'm going to pad that way. Some people would disagree with using knots on the canvas like this. But because of the dough mat, when you press it after the knot actually sort of, sort of sinks inside it and you don't really feel, you, I've never felt them. Never had a problem with them. There are, there are places where now you will get a problem with a knot if, you, if you're using it. If you leave the knot inside, like between the canvas and the cloth, you'll have, a, you'll have an issue. You'll just leave a little lump there. You'd be there trying to work it out with a needle when the coat's done. I used to talk a lot to Paul about subdivisional work. You know, you had two, two guys that worked on a coat, but they worked on it in different stages. I thought for a long time that maybe breaking it down was a better way of doing things, that if you broke it down, that one person would master you know, one part of the garment, so you'd have one person making the canvases. But uh, as Paul would rightly point, it, point out, it wouldn't be a very nice job to have. But also, I think I feel over time that if you're not, if you're never reaching the next step, you know, you'll forget why I'm rolling it like this, or I'm putting the fullness in there in the first place, or even how many stitches I'm putting in. I think they, that that's what gets lost. That's what people forget, or they don't know why they're doing their job. So I think that's what you lose, really. You can see now why this is the apprentice's job. This is where you learn how to use a needle and thimble. I tend to put a lot of stitches into my canvas, as you can see there's, there's quite a few stitches in here. I suppose the difference when you look at a lot of bespoke handmade suits is check how many hand stitches are in the are in the canvas. It's a good one to look at. You know, if you haven't got all that many in there, then not spend that much time on it if any at all. Most people have machine it now. There's certain things I think you shouldn't do by hand, <laughs> and I don't do them. Like, I don't think you should hand sew a dart or put the pocket in by hand, I think that's just a bad idea. But doing it by hand like this allows you to put quite a lot of uh, fullness into the, you know, into the chest area, where when you do it by machine, you don't, you don't really get the same effect. I find, I've done it, tried it, tried most things. Um, I can do it by machine. I can make all of this by machine. I just choose to make it by hand. Uh, I think that making it by hand is better.